There are some problems where half of the problem or the understanding of the problem is sifting through the information that seems kind of misleading or information that isn't exactly very helpful um, or not helpful enough to solving the problem. And this is kind of one of those problems that I think of. So we're given the instructions. If you're given an integer array nums, in one operation you can choose n element of the array and increment it by one. Okay, n element of the array kind of makes it sound like you can pick whatever element you want and increment it by one. But that that is true. That is true. However, we need to think of exactly what the goal is. So the goal here is return the minimum number of operations needed to make the array strictly, strictly increasing. Strictly increasing, okay? So let's take a pause for a second. If we boil this down to something much easier than thinking of the whole array and thinking, oh, we could pick an element and then increment it by one, we think of something small. Well, we have value one next to one, we just increment the second one by one and we're good to go. If we have one, two, 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 and so on, all twos, then we just keep incrementing uh, the, the two that comes next to a higher value than the previous value. So suppose we have one followed by uh, four twos like this. We have one followed by four twos. And then we just need to make it strictly increasing. Well, what ends up happening is you increase, you increase the third two uh, by one and make it three. And then of course you need to increase the second two by two to make it four. Okay, and this is really a lot of problems how they're going to be solved is by solving something very small first and paying attention to, well, I have the rules and I have the goal. Is the information that I'm given perhaps information that seems or sounds a little bit like I don't really need all that information or it's not very helpful. This is kind of one of those problems. And how we solve this is first by saying n equals line of nums and then c is zero. That's the counter that we're going to collect. We say for i, for i in range, n minus 1 if nums if nums of i is greater than or equal to nums of i plus 1 nums of i plus 1 diff equals absolute value of nums i plus 1 minus nums of i minus nums of i okay and what we want to do from here is say okay well now we need to increment uh, the number of uh, uh, times that we need to add one to, to this particular value to make it bigger, right? So we say C plus equals diff plus one, right? Because if we just add diff, it could just, it's just the difference that levels it out. We need to add one to it. And then we'll say nums I plus one, nums I plus one plus equals diff plus one, right? So we replace that value for the value in the array so that we can update the number thereafter. We return C, run, accepted, Submit. Outstanding.